Hello, and welcome to episode 64 of my Force of Nature tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on us building a brick house, and my oh my, is there a um, is this going to take you time? Let's show you why. There is just really one item which takes an extreme amount of time to make, and that is the bricks. But let's first show you why I decided to build a brick house because I didn't just wake up this morning and think mm, let's go into uh, force of nature and build myself a brick house there's a reason the reason being of course is the quests if I'm to get to my next level I have to do all the active quests and of course the next quest in line is home sweet home hence why we are now going to build a brick house so right let's take a look at the brick house then because this you'll notice my pocket is full that's nothing I mean running around like a lunatic well I'm a lunatic anyway but I've been running around I've built extra cooking tables I've built another well I've built loads more coal smokers um, all building all of this because I had to wait for my bricks to be done so let's take a look to make bricks you've got to use the crafting table you're also going to need 30 glue so make sure you do that that's another painful one because you need ash for the glue if I remember correctly let's just check the glue first of all um, for making glue oh no it's flour yes so hence why two of my cooking tables are doing a hundred flour each uh, flour takes a long time to make so it's always best to have a few hundred lying spare on the ground uh, so that's what that's all about but anyway we're talking about bricks aren't we so you go to your crafting table to make bricks bricks are very easy to make they only require stone and as you can see I've got a big pile of stone here you're gonna get loads of stone but the thing is the brick takes a long time to make um, 40 seconds per brick you're going to need 40, uh, 300 bricks so there you go that's 300 times 40 seconds well if you just say 300 minutes you're looking at a long long time so get as many crafting tables made as you can anyway three or four hours later with everything else I've been doing I am finally in a position to make a brick house I hope let's have a look so the brick house press the B key brings up your building menu click constructions scroll to right to the bottom and there we have the brick house drum roll okay because you're gonna need 50 stone 300 bricks 30 clay 30 sand 150 planks 50 nails 30 glue and 20 glass oh and that one's a kicker too because let's just show you glass is a pain to make because to make glass in the blast furnace you need five sand per glass so you need to make 20 glass ingots to make a brick house so you're gonna need a hundred sand to make just them 20 glass so that's you off digging for a good long time and you'll have to probably wait for your stamina to come back a few times you're also gonna need 10 coal 10 coal per glass ingot I burned up all of my coal and I had a nice pile of coal sat around there but I used it all up so then I thought right okay time to build loads more coal smokers so whereas originally I was just making do with one coal smoker I've now made four and I'm tempted to make a fifth one uh, well I'm tempted to see how many coal smokers I can have because you can make 50 coal at a time in each one so now I'm doing 200 coal each time I made another campfire because remember I want to use um, I want to get a hundred healing potions oh and look I managed to make a medium healing which give me 65 health now um, thank you Teresa for pointing out about the components needed for the uh, 
healing potions and thank you indeed to all of you that take the time to, to make a comment. I'm sorry that I only answer the comments now on a Sunday, it's because Monday to Friday I'm working and I'm just too exhausted, I just upload, that's all I do Monday to Friday. Saturday I record the next week's episodes, including the weekend episodes, which just leaves Sundays um, to finish off recording what I haven't fin finished on the Saturday and also spending a bit of time with um, Rainstorm, Anchor and uh, Devil Dancer and Mist because uh, we all like playing games together so there we go anyway so that's all that let's build this house enough waffle let's get to a house where am I going to put this house I was thinking I might pull it over here simply because I haven't dumped loads of stuff on the ground so I can actually have room to move so let's see if I can put it down here. Okay. Select that. So it looks like it's a nice size structure. How much bigger is it? Mm, it's not that much bigger by the looks of it than the uh, last structure I built. I want to leave a pathway between and I want to make sure the door's not blocked but I do want to put the door on this side so a pathway between that other house there's the door that fits just nicely mm, yeah I could put it there I guess there we go I hope I can fit through that door if not I'll have to destroy my altar never mind I've made bigger sacrifices before okay so we'll just wait how long is this going to take now not too bad little bit of time and um, let's show you what I've been getting up to so I'm in a constant um, I've been running around like I say like a lunatic between my flower pots because I'm constantly uh, collecting Russell's why am I collecting Russell's you're wondering what's my frenzy with the Russell's well, with the Russells, that's what we need to make the healing potions. Remember I said I'm only going to make healing potions. And the bottleneck with making, making... There's two bottlenecks to making the healing potions. One is your Russell powders. They take time to make, plus it takes time to get... Well, I've got another 100 Russells, but it takes four Russells per powder. So really I need I need 400 Russells to make the 100 powders required for my 100 potions and I'm getting there but it's taking time. What's the other bo bottleneck? Well let's show you and this is a painful one because you're going to have to do lots of digging um, because to make 100 potions we're going to need 100 jugs. So you can see I'm slowly getting there, I've got 75, when they're done that's my 100 jugs. So it's just my Russell powders which will be holding me back. And thank you to who it was who made the comment about being able to store all the stuff in the alchemical table. I didn't actually realise that before, so thank you for mentioning that. So now what I'm doing is I get the components, because I'm only going to be making healing potions, Remember for stamina I'm going to stick to the coffee and for the antidote I'm going to stick to the herbal tea. So that means I only need to make <coughs> excuse me. That means I only need to make one potion at the alchemical table which is going to be my healing potion which means I can fill this up with just the components necessary for to, to make the healing potions. And thank you once again, whoever it was who pointed out the fact that you can fill the, this with the uh, contents. Um, I'm sorry that I can't remember who it was. It's because uh, I haven't got around to answering the comments yet. Not until tomorrow. But I do know that someone did make that comment. Oh, there's the Russells again. So let's go get some more of them. Once I've built this brick house, guess what I'm going to fill it with? Plant pots, so I can be more effective at growing this Russell's. Because I've got a feeling I'm going to need loads of healing potions in the future. Now that I've got four wells, I'm getting 20 water at a time, so that's good.
so let's see what was I waiting for um, the house to be built oh it's built there we go let's take a look at it so this my friends my dear viewers is the brick house and it looks like there's a nice amount of space now one thing I noticed I need is another crafting table the bricks taught me that lesson because bricks take so long to make and you need to make other items as well uh, I'd only had two crafting tables so I want to see how many crafting tables I can make um, where are they? here it is so let's put and make another one and I'm going to fill this up with crafting tables this brick house can I make another one? oh I can but I need some more planks so let's get some more planks Oh, and I've nearly used up all my planks. So that's something else I've got to start making. We're going to be in a constant flux of building more tab crafting tables and uh, tailoring tables and wells and aperies. Oh, the list is endless, but it's all good. It's all fun. See, I can fit three of them in a row. So now I've got four crafting tables. Now I can go up four times and craft four different items at a time. Um, hopefully I'm not going to need to make many more bricks. Oh, Russell's already. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to put in there, some more plant pots. Um, in fact, what I want to do... Let's get these Russells first. Let's hide that. Let's, uh, can I move? Yeah, I can, cool. So what I wanna do is move these all to one, the same location, i.e. where I'm gonna be needing them. Um, next to here, where the alchemical table is. So. Wait a minute, where's it gone? It's messing with me. Force of nature is messing with me. What happened to the plant pot? My plant pot, where's it gone? Did I get the components? No. Maybe you can only move it from the same, in the same building. Let's try once more. Move. No, lose it. So I'm going to have to destroy them, which is a bit of a nuisance. Unless, of course, I destroy the tailoring table. No, I need loads of plant pots. So let's see, what's it to build a plant pot? Oh, more digging, more glue. And the glue, the glue uses up your ash, which is not good, because, um, let's see. Let's see what we need to make ash. Remember, ash is important for your um, portals. So, really, I don't want to use it up, but what does it need? So it needs, oh, I've got loads of these now, so let's make a load of ash. So I'm going to need claws or fangs or bones so I think I've got a load of fangs yeah I've got tons of fangs so let's grab let's grab a couple of hundred fangs keeping 51 in reserve in case I need them for something else and ash you've guessed it is very slow to make or at least it was the last time I did did it so let's select how much can I do 66 that's good there we go so we got 66 ash and yes that's gonna take time so I'll leave that let's go drop the last two of them things back not gonna need them ah the flower at that cooking tables finished 
Oh, there's the timer. Okay, so let's take the flour off of here. Let's do some more Russell powder. How much can I do? 31. Got to be careful. You don't want to use all your Russells up. What I should do, Nelly made a mistake there. If you use them all up, you won't have nothing to plant. And that means then you're going to have to go back out in the wilderness. So make sure you remember to plant a couple of pots before you start making your Russell powder. Because you don't want to use it all up. So back to here. And get a load more. So that's 30 more. I'm getting there. Remember I want 100 to be able to make 100 healing potions. So I'm slowly but surely getting there. I'm going to have to also grow a load of uh, savia and um, so I need number 51 and I think I've got about 33 that are on the go so about number 20 Russell powders I am very nearly there with what I need but I'm also going to need to grow just to show you let's bring the recipes up in order to make these health potions, I'm now going to need to do a serious amount of farming of salvia and rosemary. And uh, perhaps grow loads more strawberries. Um, because it's using five strawberries per potion. Now if I'm making 100 of these healing potions, that obviously means I need 500 strawberries. So I'm going to need to grow another 300 strawberries. And I'm going to need... Oh my goodness, I'm going to need 400 rosemary and 600 salvia. No, what am I talking about? I'm going to need... Oh yeah, so I think that's right. Anyway, the time has gone. <coughs> we, excuse me. We've made a brick house. I will now see if I can put a load more plant pots in there. Because... I don't expect I'm ever going to stop making the healing potion and um, that's going to be something I always need to make so why not fill up my brick house with plant pots full of Russells and keep constantly farming salvia, rosemary and um, strawberries. Okay enough of the waffle there's the brick house, that's all done. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.